Today, we're diving deep into the connection between love and the heart, exploring how these concepts intertwine with frequency, color, and sacred geometry. This is more than just a philosophical or spiritual journey. It's a look at how the very essence of love shapes our reality, our relationships, and our existence in ways we may never have imagined. Let's get started. When we think about love, the first image that often comes to mind is the heart. This isn't just a symbolic association. There's a real, powerful connection between the heart and love, one that science and spirituality are both beginning to understand. The heart isn't just a pump that circulates blood through our bodies. It's an electromagnetic powerhouse, generating the strongest field in our body, much stronger than the brain's. The heart's electromagnetic field is toroidal, which means it's shaped like a donut, spiraling out from the heart, looping around, and then coming back in. This field extends several feet beyond our bodies, and some studies even suggest it can reach up to 5 miles. This field is constantly interacting with the fields of those around us, creating an invisible web of connections. But what's most fascinating is how this field is affected by our emotions, especially love. Love is often categorized into different types, agape, eros, philia, and more. Agape is often seen as the highest form of love, an unconditional, selfless love that's universal. Eros is passionate, romantic love, often driven by desire. Philia is affectionate, friendly love, a bond that's built over time. These different types of love don't just exist as abstract concepts, they resonate at different frequencies, affecting the heart's electromagnetic field in unique ways. Everything in the universe vibrates at its own frequency. Love, in its purest form, resonates at one of the highest frequencies. When you're in a state of love, your heart's electromagnetic field vibrates at this higher frequency, and this vibration can be felt by others, even if they're not aware of it. This is why being around someone who's loving, kind, or compassionate feels so good, it's literally resonating with your own energy field. But it's not just about frequency. The heart's energy field can also be understood in terms of color. In many traditions, the heart is associated with the color green, the color of the heart chakra, Anahata. This green energy is linked to balance, harmony, and healing. When you're in a state of love, this green energy flows more freely, expanding your toroidal field and strengthening your connection to others. Sacred geometry also plays a role in understanding the heart and love. The torus shape of the heart's electromagnetic field is a fundamental form in sacred geometry, representing infinity and unity. The torus is self-sustaining, with energy constantly flowing in and out, creating a balance that mirrors the cycles of life, death, and rebirth. When we tap into the energy of love, we align ourselves with this sacred geometry, becoming part of a larger, universal pattern. Now, let's talk about coherence. Coherence is the state where your heart, mind, and emotions are in alignment, working together in harmony. When you're in a state of love, your heart's rhythm becomes more coherent, creating a stable, harmonious pattern in your electromagnetic field. This coherence isn't just beneficial for you, it has a ripple effect, influencing the fields of those around you. This is why love is often described as contagious. When you're in love, or when you act with love, you're literally spreading that high frequency, coherent energy to others. But what happens when you're not in a state of love? When you're feeling fear, anger, or frustration, your heart's electromagnetic field becomes erratic, disorganized. This incoherent state weakens your energy field, making you more susceptible to stress, illness, and negative influences from the environment. This is why it's so important to cultivate love in all its forms, agape, eros, philia, because it helps maintain coherence, not just in your heart, but in your entire being. So, how can we consciously connect with this energy of love? One way is through visualization. Picture the toroidal field around your heart. See it glowing with a vibrant green light, pulsing with the frequency of love. Imagine this field expanding, filling your entire body, then radiating outwards, touching everything and everyone around you. As you do this, focus on feelings of gratitude, compassion, and unconditional love. These emotions will amplify the energy, strengthening your field and bringing you into a state of coherence. Another way to tap into this energy is through sound and music. Certain frequencies, like 528 Hz, are known as the love frequency. Listening to music tuned to this frequency can help realign your heart's electromagnetic field, bringing you back into a state of coherence. 
Chanting or humming can also stimulate the heart chakra, activating the toroidal field and enhancing your connection to love. But let's take it even further. Remember, the heart's electromagnetic field isn't just affected by your emotions, it also interacts with the fields of others. This means that when you're in a state of love, you're not just benefiting yourself. You're influencing everyone you come into contact with. Your coherent energy field can help bring others into a state of coherence as well, creating a positive feedback loop. This is why communities based on love, compassion, and mutual respect are so powerful. They create a collective field of coherence, where everyone's energy is aligned, amplified, and harmonized. Now, let's think about the bigger picture. The Earth itself has an electromagnetic field, and just like the human heart, it's toroidal. This field, known as the Schumann Resonance, resonates at around 7.83 Hz, often called the Earth's heartbeat. When we align our heart's electromagnetic field with the Earth's, we tap into a powerful source of energy that connects us not just to each other, but to the planet itself. This connection is what many ancient cultures understood as the link between the microcosm and the macrocosm, the individual and the universe. In sacred geometry, this connection is often represented by the flower of life, a symbol that contains the patterns of creation within it. The flower of life is made up of multiple overlapping circles, forming a grid that represents the interconnectedness of all life. When we live in a state of love, our heart's electromagnetic field resonates with the pattern of the flower of life, aligning us with the very fabric of the universe. But this isn't just about spiritual or esoteric concepts. There's real science backing this up. Studies have shown that when people meditate on love and compassion, their heart's electromagnetic field becomes more coherent, and this coherence can be measured and observed. It's not just about feeling good, it's about creating a state of harmony that influences everything around you, from your own body to the environment and even the people you encounter. So, what does this mean for us, in our day-to-day -day lives? It means that love isn't just an emotion or a state of mind. It's a powerful, tangible force that can be harnessed to create real change. When you focus on love, you're not just improving your own well-being. You're contributing to the well-being of everyone around you, and even to the earth itself. This is why practices like meditation, mindfulness, and heart-centered breathing are so important. They help us tap into the energy of love, realign our electromagnetic fields, and bring us into a state of coherence. And when we do this regularly, we start to see changes in our lives. We become more resilient, more compassionate, more connected. We start to attract positive experiences and relationships, because our energy is vibrating at a higher frequency. But it's not just about personal gain. When we live from a place of love, we're contributing to the collective consciousness, raising the vibration of the planet. We're aligning ourselves with the sacred geometry of the universe, becoming part of the larger pattern of life. And in doing so, we're helping to create a world where love is the dominant force, where coherence and harmony are the norm, not the exception. So, the next time you think about love, remember that it's more than just a feeling. It's a frequency, a color, a pattern. It's the energy that connects us all, that resonates through our hearts and into the world. And by choosing to live in a state of love, you're not just changing your own life. You're changing the world. That's it for today's exploration of love in the heart. Keep tuning into Asterisk Well, that's interesting on Quavir TV, where we dive deep into the mysteries of life, the universe, and everything in between. And remember, let your heartbeat be your reminder. Let it guide you back to love, back to coherence, back to the true essence of who you are. 